Good morning guys, so I left Thailand and now I'm in Greece sailing again so this is going to be the first episode of a brand new series Sailing Greece we are starting from Plateria the nearest airport is Preveza we are on a Beneto this is actually the first time me sailing Beno I've heard very mixed mostly negative opinions about Benetos before so because I am doing a flotilla we had kind of limited choice especially at this time of year we have a lot of faults on this boat. I mean, the engineers coming here to sort out my cabin, the front cabin, because it's just a whole mess. Hopefully he'll be able to fix it. Today, we are going to Kofu. I am unbelievably excited. It's going to be my first time in Kofu. I've always wanted to visit the island. And we'll be going to Kofu town, which is even better. Bateria is based on the mainland, about an hour and a half drive from Preveza. Kofu town is about 20 odd miles away from here. Sailing Ionian is probably the easiest place to start your sailing adventures. I've sailed in Sardinia and Croatia before, especially in Sardinia, it's a lot more strict. Whereas in Greece, the waters are calmer, more sheltered, there are a lot of beginners here, so everyone is very used to seeing beginners, everyone is very helpful. This place has become a quite popular spot for all the flotillas. I would suggest going here not on the weekend, otherwise you may struggle to find your parking spot. I'm not sure if you can pre-book in Greece, you typically cannot, it's not like Croatia. Croatia has more modern harbors where you can just pre-book everything before you get to the destination, here you may not. And there is fresh water and electricity on the quay, so you can get shore power. We are currently not plugged in because we are on kind of the outer quay, so we don't actually have shore power, but the other quay, which is much uh, bigger, has shore power and 10 euros per day. It was not a dream start that my dad and I would have hoped for. We were already very delayed to set sails, as our boat simply was very faulty when we moved into it, and the engineer spent a good while. Mind you, I think this boat was very old. When we finally left Plateria and headed to Kofu town, the wind was very strong that day, but it was blowing straight towards us. Our course was in the no-sail zone. We still got a decent sail though, which was lovely, but we were going off course and tacking. Due to the fact it was getting late in the afternoon, we decided to put the sails down and motor through the remaining journey. Even motoring was very slow, especially since the wind was pushing us back. But I have to say, despite all of this, it felt so good to be back at sea. I felt like I was back to where I belong. You guys will probably know, as I mentioned this all the time, but my ultimate goal in life is to live on a yacht one day. We could see the approach to Kofu town and our harbour as there was a remarkable old fortress next to it. We are in Kofu town. Sadly, we got here a lot later than I was hoping for. Here's the citadel. Right there, with your mooring, you get free tickets to the citadel. A few more information on our moorings. So we parked at the Yacht Club Marina. It's one of those spots that's quite hard to get a space in, so you have to book in advance. Or you can try to radio in, you know, get close. And before you try to find a bath, you have to radio in to make sure the spaces are not fully booked. Hence why I really advise you to book in advance if you want to get here, which I would 100% recommend. I think this place is dreamy.
You can probably hear Greek music in the background. I mean, this is very typical for Greece. Greek traditional music. Behind me, that's our harbor with different keys. We are actually based on the key by the restaurant, but there's another key coming down. It's a decent size by the location. You know, it's a beautiful location, so a lot of boats will want to come here. Barracks of British officers. Tomorrow morning we'll go all the way up. Bunch of Greek food, the Greek sweets, and very narrow paths. To me, Greek architecture, because it's very white, it feels very clean also. This doesn't really go only to popular towns like Corfu, but it also goes to small little villages that I've been to. I could spend hours shopping here. I can see so many things there along here. I'm trying to stay away and not look, but this, we have to go this way <laughs> to get back. I'm just going to move forward. Oh, look at these bad boys. Do you want these slippers? The one problem with these tiny, narrow streets of Greece is that you can get lost super easily. They are, you know, never ending with so many different directions and you can't see because it's all houses, people live all around here. So yeah, we are kind of lost, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. The key is to get out of this maze. Once we get out of the maze, I'm sure I can find my way. Someone said Mayday, we are lost in the maze of Greece. Only cats around here. <laughs> oh dear. And we haven't had anything to eat and I feel like it's quite a trek. And also the fort, the citadel, I'm not sure there's no opening times because we went through the citadel to get to town. We got out at last, but it seems like a different harbor. I think this is the Corfu town harbor. Um, as soon as I see fort, it will be a lot clearer, but right now, it really isn't. This way? Or that way? We found our way back. We got out from the maze. It's gotten dark in the meantime because we got back onto the boat. And now it's time to eat something. So we are just opposite our boat at a place called Tofu Sailing Club Restaurant. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. It's, we haven't eaten anything since like God knows what time and it's currently half uh, ten. I just ordered some grilled octopus and then I am ready to sleep. <laughs> 